Hello viewers and welcome to our first look at Star Wars Racer running here on the Nintendo Switch. A game released, uh, well, must be some 21 years ago now to coincide with the Episode 1 movie. Uh, sort of, so enabling you to enjoy one, basically the, the, one of the best parts of the film in the racing action. Of course I played this years ago on the N64 version. And just We'll go through the various elements of the game in just a second. But uh, it's nice at first to have the rousing Star Wars soundtrack. And of course you pick your character in your car. There's 25 playable characters in the game. And then you go off on your racing circuits on the eight different planets. And there's various circuits within those locations as well as shortcut and routes. Also you get, you get Anakin humming sometimes. Indeed. Indeed. Um, rather unusual just hearing him hum there while you look at the craft. I thought it was quite nice that they had a look at your craft thing. Something that it didn't have so much in games. It's nice to see it on a game this old. You also have these FMV sequences, which we didn't have obviously on the N64 version that I can remember. Uh, perhaps it was on the Dreamcast version and the PC version. Uh, and of course then in the bottom corner there you can see it running on the handheld as well. I, I do like to occasionally show the handheld because I play these games in handheld mode rather than on the TV. Uh, so I'm still impressed with, even though it's an old game, I'm always impressed to see games running at 60 frames per second on handheld systems and playing so well, so much fun. Uh, and you just find games like this from years ago that convert so well to modern day consoles. There's a rich heritage of, of titles out there that given the HD treatment, you know, maximum graphic settings for the time, there's a lot you can do. Now, very exciting racing action. You've got the, the different viewpoints. You've got obviously behind the front, which for me, I can't see as well from this view. For me, it's not as playable as I'd like it to be. And it's quite jerky with the stick as well. It was at the time, it is now. So it's not a sort of smooth, fluid, it's sort of smooth and fluid action with it. It is, it is quite uh, jerky in the way it moves around. It's not as analog as I would like it to have been, but it is what it is. It's an older game. It was like that years ago. Uh, and generally speaking, not many changes have been made. Uh, now, music and sound effects does seem to be a little bit distortion, uh, almost like it was recorded a bit too loud. But either way, it works well. And the music really adds a lot to the environment, you know, to the, the action. You really feel, you know, it's exciting, it's intense, it's great to be a part of. And I just really enjoyed it. Now, I wasn't a massive fan of the game years ago. I thought, I thought it was I thought it was fun enough, but it didn't run as well as I'd like it to run. It was... I felt the technology wasn't quite there in a way to do the game justice and I, and I kind of feel that when I look at it now running on the Switch or if you've got the PS4 version it's not using the full power of these systems but what you see is the size and the scale of the environment it's enormous environments you know massive long straights you see their giant mountains and just just really big scale and we notice this a lot in the 90s games where they just they made what their vision was and they, they just had to work around the technology. They didn't limit their vision for, you know, for other reasons. And I feel like right now it's, they had to make it work. You know, look at the scale of these environments. It's huge. It works really well. And the exciting music and even, even in terms of lighting and look, you know, there's a nice lighting. There's, a nice, there's no yellow filters here or anything artistic getting in the way. The snow and the ice is all looking authentically coloured and has a nice sort of, dare I say it, Empire Strikes Back feel to it. And that works. Nice reflection there as well on the lake surface. So it's exciting, it's intense, it's good action. I've been playing through the Amateur Cup here uh, and I'm going to put up a couple of uh, no comment videos on the channel as well, probably Instagram, just for you guys to, to watch without me rambling constantly. But I did enjoy this this sort of snow and ice track. Great track, some good exciting moments, some narrow corridors through these caverns. Where do we go? You know, you're following the road, finding the route, there's two routes there obviously. Find the one that works for you, for me the narrow route's the way. Just touch on the wall, you've got to be careful. Every time you 
touch something, it'll damage your engines and that will affect your performance. There is a repair option when you get repair droids and you can upgrade your craft as well. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. And just showing you guys some of the different environments. Great environments. You know, they've got it's got good music, it's got good feel. This converts brilliantly to the Switch. I think it's I think it's one of the best racing games on the Switch. You know, I think it's right up there. I'm actually going to have to do a proper Switch comparison of racing games. There's some really good stuff coming out on the Switch. And of course, you know, I've got to catch up on Burnout Paradise as well. So, good stuff with racing games on the Switch. It's a, it's a capable handheld. You know, oh, damn, I didn't know which way to go. That door, I think, caught me out on several occasions. You've got to know which side to go. Otherwise, it will catch you out. But then there's these jumps as well. We just sort of need to lift the craft a bit, fly a bit further, land a bit smoother. And then you've got this course as well. I think one of them for mines. I mean, some of them are, are more exciting than others. This is more sort of one of the bland courses in the scheme of things. Uh, again, this is going to be more of a performance course. So once you get further into the game, you'll need to upgrade your craft. So a course like this, you'd need top speed, for example. So you'll be going at ridiculous speeds when you completely max out your craft. But it's all running at 60 FPS. That's good for me. You guys know that. Uh, I like to see games running nice and smoothly. And I like to see classic games brought back like this. Would I like to have seen more? Yes. Yes, I would like to have seen more. I would like to have seen some more elements to the graphics and just touching it up a little bit more. But I'm... I'm not going to argue, $14.99 uh, $14 is the, what we've been quoted. I don't have that in UK pounds, but either way, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's a fun racing game. You see here the various sort of upgrades. I was just having a look at some of the different bits and pieces I could attach to my racer, uh, seeing what I could afford. Uh, and then there's also a junk pile area where you can just pop outside and have a look through that as well takes me back a long time goodness i see some of these screens i remember seeing them demoing in store back in the day but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to leave you guys with a lap a bit of a no comment lap just to show you some of the racing action and i'll come back in just a moment Wow, what a lap. I have to say, epic laps, aren't they, on some of these tracks? I mean, two minutes plus at proper speeds. 
uh, and they get more challenging as it goes on as well and you have that nice little sequence afterwards when you win the race and of course as I say as you progress through the races as different championships you'll need to really upgrade your craft uh, but I really like this section in particular just so fast you know but so so uh, challenging at the same time its own way the way the craft moves around just, just I just love bombing down these tunnels at high speed Wow amazing speed working my way through there and I love that I love I like the action I like the feeling you know I would say that if you've got a Nintendo switch you want something that's a bit Star Wars you want something that's a bit racy jump out there try it out uh, and it's definitely a game with some longevity to it as well as long as you enjoy the racing so that's it for me for now I thought I would uh, just share a little bit of Star Wars racer I'm definitely gonna take a look a bit more at some of the switch titles some great titles on this handheld and it's good to see old school racing titles like this given another chance and in many ways like this game plays better now than it ever has done before it had potential not perfect it's a bit oversensitive it could do a bit more analog sort of feel to it but I'm not complaining it's a, a classic game that's been converted well and uh, I look forward to playing it a bit more and getting into the game more videos to come for sure but that's it for me for now as ever more soon Hello beautiful, thanks for watching the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Do like and subscribe, supports what we do. And also check in the description if you want to become a YouTube member or a Patreon, support us in every way possible to get out there and get some awesome content. But um, that's it, hope you've enjoyed it. Check out these videos, check out the site and there'll be more from me very soon.